So I was uh, 19 um, when I actually walked through the gates at Catrick Garrison to start my training. Um, but I'd actually wanted to be a paratrooper since I was 12, 13 years old. Um, and then opportunity presented itself when I was 19 and so I took it straight away. At that time it was like I didn't want to go to uni, I didn't want to do any of that. I always wanted to play sport or be a paratrooper. But pretty quickly my soldiering career changed to a sporting career um, and that was a completely random uh, thing. Someone who was coaching the, the Paras bobsleigh team at the time was like, oh, I think you'd be good at this. And so I just thought, yeah, why not try it? And then the next thing I knew, I was representing Great Britain, going around the world doing bobsleigh, which was just a completely mad, mad journey to go on. I knew where I wanted my career to go in sport, and although bobsleigh is an incredible sport, it wasn't my first love. You know, rugby was my first love, and um, so I'd got to that sort of position where I thought, right, this is this is the time now. I was uh, 23, I think, when I made the move back to rugby, and uh, that was another uh, case of there was an opportunity presented itself. I didn't know if it would come around again, so I just grabbed it with both hands and. Um, yeah, I've been here for the last two years now. So. Uh, it is, it's, it's similar in a way, but it's completely different at the same time. Um, you know, the, to become a paratrooper, it's a seven month long training um, course, which is known as Depot. Um, and it's incredibly arduous. It's one of the hardest training courses the British Army can throw at you outside of uh, Special Forces selection. So um, it's in incredibly difficult and the whole point of that is is to produce highly skilled soldiers that once you finish your training you go to battalion uh, you could be asked very shortly after passing out a training to, to go on tour or overseas and more experienced paratroopers need you to be able to stand beside them and know that they can trust you and you can get your job done so I guess the mentality side of it is a little, little bit different of what you're doing it for, but at the same time, rugby is very similar with the fact that it's a brotherhood and you train together and you play together. And when you go out on the field together, you know, you, you put your body on the line for each other. So that's where the similarities are. It's just given me so many opportunities. Um, every opportunity I've had in the last few years is has been through the, the, the army and through the paras and without that I wouldn't have achieved half the things I've been able to do or, or been able to grab half the opportunities I've been able to do so um, so definitely that's one of the standout things that you know the army has, has given me is these opportunities to go right if you can perform at that level of elite sport then you know we'll give you the time and give you the resources to be able to go and pursue that.